everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a bit of a roof garden update for you. So it's been a while since I showed you the roof garden. I'll link the uh, roof garden makeover series down below so you can kind of see um, some previous videos on that if you haven't seen them already as to kind of how I transformed the space out there. But it's been a bit neglected. I've been away quite a lot so some of the plants out there are looking quite thirsty and um, there's a bit of a mess going on basically. Things have been blown about from the windy days and it just all needs a bit of a tidy up and a bit of weeding and and yeah, I just thought I'd show you um, how it's looking, um, the truthful version, because it is a bit of a mess, and we'll give it a bit of a tidy up. I'm trying to just um, spend maybe like an hour, maybe two hours on this today, so nothing major, but just a little let's get the garden tidied up type of video. So maybe this will give you some inspiration to get out into your outdoor space and do the same now that summer's upon us. So before we get cracking, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week, and if you're a returning viewer, don't forget to click subscribe as well it would be great for you to subscribe so you can always be notified of when a new video pops up into your subscription box and it's completely free to do so and if you enjoy this video do give it a little thumbs up right I'm gonna have a quick sip of the coffee and then we'll get cracking so straight away we can see there's already some mess going on here this is a tarpaulin from when I was spraying some DIYs that needs to be put away not even sure what's in that one down there and then, yeah, lots of um, mess, basically. This here is a car boot sale find. You may remember this from last year, and this was 10p. It was a mystery item. Lots of you guessed that this was a, like a boot scraper that gets screwed outside a house. And some of you suggested it'd be good to screw into the wall and put some plants in. So I think I might do that. We could fit two plant pots into that. So I'll keep that out handy. And then we've just got a bit of a mess going on, to be honest with you. We've got some dried out plants where I haven't watered them enough. And yeah, it's just all looking a bit messy. So I'm gonna give it all a good tidy up. This was looking very sorry for itself, but I gave it a bath of water and it really did bounce back. I think I might do that again today, actually. Along with, what else have we got? These lavenders, I need to pop these up properly. And I'm going to pop these into the bath again because I think they just need a good soak and then we'll plant those up a little bit better. And what is going on back here? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think I need to get the broom out and maybe the uh, leaf sucker. This has died, but then these seem to be doing really well. These are, they're called hebes, I think. I got those from Lidl. Lavender's looking very thirsty, that can go in the bath. And I've got some random geraniums that just all need tidying up. Lots of weeds as well. I don't know where they come from. And we've got some cherries that have um, come out here as well. This guy needs to come back indoors. That is looking very sorry for itself. But um, yeah, not sure what to do about that one. Any suggestions, leave them in the comments. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I've got a carrier bag and an old plant pot. And I'm just gonna go around and get rid of any weeds anything that's died and anything that just doesn't belong out here. So I'm gonna fill those up and yeah, we'll see how we get on with that first. So that's the weed. And this is a very dry grass. I think you might be able to get that one back to life. So I'll put that on the pile to go and get some water. Oh, and there's a snail in there as well. And whatever's in here has actually died, so I'm going to get rid of all of that. Ooh, we've got a centipede in there as well. Can you see that? Or is it a millipede? One or the other. I'm going to put that one into there. Look at the state of that. That is just one giant weed and a load of dead grass. I am sorry plants, I have neglected you. And again, I have no idea what this is, but it looks dead. This one, unfortunately, has had its day. And as you can see, these need a good water. 
And now before I water this lavender, I'm gonna get all of the weeds out of this pot because look how they've grown. And they're what probably taking all the water out of it as well. These things are handy, but you've got to remember to fill them up. some wild strawberries growing. Now I didn't plant those there so I'm guessing that would have been probably when I had a strawberry from the wild strawberries out here and threw the remains of it onto this pot and it's just self-seeded but it's not doing very well but I might just leave it see what happens I might come back when this stuff is getting everywhere I don't know what that is but it keeps spreading look how much there is the copper solar lights that I got from Amazon are still doing really well and they're over a year old now and I got my parents some as well and theirs are also still lighting up really brightly of an evening so um, well worth getting those if you want to add some lights to your garden I highly recommend. I'll link them if I can find the link for you. I'm going to put the washing line in because that's getting in my way. I have this retractable washing line and this was from Wilco's and I think it was under £10 which is really handy if you've got a small garden or a small outdoor space. gathering any of the plants that are in pots that need a good soak the ones that are looking extra dry and a bit sorry for themselves a few have died and will be going into the um, plant waste recycling outside but I wanted to show you these these are what the snails absolutely love to munch on this one has actually flowered this year and I got these last year from Lidl and they didn't flower so it's really nice to see um, how they've grown. This one's not doing so well, and the snails have been at them, but all of these are gonna go into the bath for a good soak. Any plastic pots that I don't need anymore, I'm just going to take out the front and leave them for people to take, because often people will just happily take these if they wanna plant up some things for themselves. And I've just found a mini pumpkin from Halloween, <laughs> which is great. Now this is exciting, so the aloe that I've got out here, which is doing really well, very strong, ouch, it's spiking, has got a couple of pups at the side growing here. So what I'm going to do now is try to separate those and pot them up into some new pots so they can grow all by themselves. So they've got some roots on as you can see so I'll get those uh, planted up and we'll see how they grow throughout the summer. 
So I've got an audio book on the go now, just so that I've got something to listen to while I'm out here. I highly recommend listening to audio books. Sorry, I've got, it's actually talking in my ear. <laughs> um, yeah, I highly recommend listening to them if you're outside doing a little task. It can make the time absolutely fly by. So I've got my book on, and now I'm just gonna give the floor a good sweep up because, yeah, it's very messy down there. It's a mystery that we never took a chance before. I'm looking at you and you're looking at me And all of a sudden it rains over me All we ever wanted was crossing our ways These are all having a little soak in the bath, already bouncing back to life. So I've just pulled up some of the decking because some of you may remember from one of my recent vlogs that my kitchen roof was leaking. Well, I thought the cause might be that where we've got the drainage from underneath the decking that goes out there to a drain pipe, I thought that might all be blocked from leaves dropping down underneath the decking. But as you can see, it's not too bad. So somewhere in this, I'm thinking there must be a little hole, so I'll have to figure out how to find it. I'm not quite sure how to go about that. I might have to like run some water through it. But um, yeah, I'll come back to that later, but I'm quite relieved that at least it's not all blocked up there. I thought it could be a lot worse underneath the decking. And the decking came up all right. I just had to like wrench it up with a couple of chisels. I mean, I'm not looking forward to getting it back, but um, yeah, at least I got it up and I was able to have a look. Okay, so a quick little overview for you. As you can see, I've been sweeping up. I need to actually get the, um, the proper leaf sucker out, but that's in the loft, so I might do that another day. And yeah, I've just cleared a lot of the um, dead plants away, and then I've put everything into one corner, just because I need to do a bit of work over here to find out what the leak is. So that's gonna be a job for tomorrow, I think. And then I've pushed everything to one side, and yeah, it's just all looking a little bit tidier out here, so we've got space to sit down and relax. Might even be time for a glass of wine shortly. <laughs> it's a nice evening. Um, but I'll just quickly show you the um, table over here as well, because you may remember this upcycle. I'll link the video if you want to make one of these. You can get your hands on one of these um, cable drums and find some legs or something to use as legs. Very simple to make. Um, and it's become a plant table for the succulent and also all of the aloes, along with the pups. These were in the kitchen window and I think they were getting scorched. So I brought them outside to see how they get on out there. So that's, that's the parent with the two babies here and the same going on here as well. day there so I hope you enjoyed this little roof garden update obviously it's not looking perfect at the moment but that is life let me know how your outdoor space is going at the moment have you done anything different to it for summer or do you need to get outside and get cracking with a little tidy up as well I'd love to hear um, how your outdoor spaces are going or even if you've just got indoor plants let me know how they're getting on with all this heat um, that we've had this summer but yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this vlog sorry about the aeroplane but you know that they do come over very frequently here so i'm just going to carry on and say thank you so much for watching if you're new here don't forget to click subscribe i'm posting new videos every single week oh it's a noisy one <laughs> and uh yeah do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon bye so it's been a little while since i've properly showed you oh i think i felt like a fly just flew into my ear sorry about that i forgot what i was about to say <laughs> What was I going to say now?
actually completely forgotten why I just... Oh yeah. 